good kitten internet and, and uh, a few videos back I think that would actually be like five videos back or something like that I can't remember the exact number now I had a bunch of stuttering for the first roughly two minutes of video I just discovered what causes it uh, apparently if I'm moving my video off of my SSD to my network attached storage which I max out my network bandwidth copying it over uh, the camera starts stuttering for some reason I'm not sure why I think I might be maxing out PCI Express bandwidth on my computer or something. It's weird. I was not expecting anything like that to happen, but that's actually what's happening, which explains why it only happened for the first two minutes and not again. Anyway, we just finished going through the Warlord stuff, and I had said that I was not going to actually go redeem that quest. I've decided that I was lying. I'm going to go redeem that right now before I forget about it, because I want to promote... That's the reason why I forgot. Is that this is very important because I can promote from this. Tra la 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 la. Weird artifact. Um, one thing I do like about this castle, it's the only castle that actually makes sense from a defensible perspective. Um, I mean, it sort of makes sense for Castle Iron Fist. That's fairly defensible, except for the fact that you can't get out. Anyway, um, we are now champions. Good job! Excellent! I wasn't sure you'd make it back alive. Kirkmund had more potential than I realized, but you're certainly worth more than a... You're certainly more than a match for an army of Kirkmunds. You've proven yourselves worthy of the rank of champion. You must not be afraid to take up arms to defend what is right. May your enemies fear your approach and your allies rally behind your courage. And now I promote you to the rank of champion. Well met, champions. Please, don't waste your valuable time or mine in times like this. Use your skills for the good of Enroth, then leave me to my planning. When this battle is over, then we can share tales of valor and skill. So, that promotion just gave her 158 hit points. She's effectively level 60, so... I would have actually expected it to be 180. She might have actually started healing while we were talking. Anyway, I just wanted to do that first. It's the right thing to do. Now, let's go ahead and go to Silver Cove. I will pay a little bit extra for healing. Eh, actually, screw that. Whoever need healing anyway. And let's go ahead and go to the Monolith, which is the last dungeon in Silver Cove that we haven't done. Uh, so I know I haven't been cleaning out the land masses as much. It's because, to be honest, they're not worth that much. Druids don't really give that much experience. But for this group, I'm going to make a small exception. Although they're flying. Why did you attack there? I do not understand this game's obsession with casting a spell on the thing closest to you. Right, they're immune to physical. I keep forgetting. Um, okay. right. We're going to drop down so I actually have any chance at all of hitting them. See, this is why I don't bother, because it's so obnoxious to hit these stupid gargoyles. I just killed a gargoyle by doing no damage. Good job, me. Yes, I know how I killed it. I'm being facetious. See, you notice how it completely missed that gargoyle? It's because it's flying. Uh, let's see, firebolt. Ugh. 
It's really hard to hit things when they're there. How are you? So I've got these goobers to deal with, but eh, they're not immune to I mean, they're not immune to damage, so I'm less concerned. Uh, I don't want to actually aim at that one. I want to kill the one close by. The druids will eventually turn the corner and start fighting me, but they're ground folk. And you know what you do to ground folk? You cast meteor shower on them. Just get up close and personal. Ugh. This is why nobody likes you, gargoyles. Well, other than Disney's gargoyles, everybody likes that. Well, people have actually seen it. Um, Ice Dolt. I mean, I do kind of like the idea of having the magic ones and the ones immune to magic all nearby each other. That'd be so much better if they actually had healing spells. Just die already. You're annoying. There we go. Scroll of crap. Also, that amulet is enchantable. The monolith area, which is where we're going, is a short dungeon, if I remember right. Why don't I just pick up another amulet? Also enchantable. That's good. Okay. You know where we are, because I don't. Trying to listen to what type of monsters there are here. Puzzle dungeon, isn't it? Look to where na uh, look to nature where civilization fails. The rocks and the trees, the sky and the earth, all hold a power greater than man. Also known as notice that everything's capitalized. There's stuff everywhere. Druids. Druids get fireballed. This is a really easy dungeon if I remember right. But I actually have perception doing this dungeon for once, which is nice. Hint. Door. Door will not budge. Talk to rock. Now door will budge. How am I doing on haste? 13 minutes. Let's fix that. Alright, the only problem with this dungeon is dealing with Grand Druids. They're mostly resistant to fire. Actually, I don't think they're resistant to acid. Yeah, they are. Are you resistant to Flying Fist? No. No, you're not. And now that my body magic power is higher, Flying Fist does more damage. You are however, not at all resistant to getting stabbed in the face. I find most things in this game are not resistant to getting stabbed in the face, though. So, you dropped something. You dropped that helm. Well, it's enchantable. Um... That's lowercase. Oh, I can hear earth elementals. Flowers. 
strange tree, which opens the side door, which opens that tree of 5,000 gold pieces. Yeah, this isn't really much of a puzzle dungeon, to be honest. Fireball is your friend, right? I stole. Got that one. Okay. Just need to make sure the Grand Druids are taken care of fast. Ugh. How do you have such crap? We're lowercase tree. You are uppercase tree. You are a rock of continuing. I can still hear the rock elementals. And they're gonna hurt. Yep. So they're not immune to physical damage, by the way. And these rock elementals are nowhere near as bad as they are in Might Magic 7. Uh, in Might Magic 7, they explode when you kill them. Tree shakes at my touch. Oh, well, I'm going this way. Hey, look, there's dead bodies. Dead bodies everywhere. There's nothing here. It's decorative dead bodies. You know how it goes, right? I don't know why I'm snarking so much here. Oh, water elementals. That was the last enemy here. Surprise, water elementals. This is the only dungeon in the game with them, if I remember right. Well, I can tell you what magic is not going to be useful against water elementals. Apparently, magic type of magic is not useful against water elementals. Which means they're immune to fist. Yep. They're not, however, immune to getting arrowed. Um, Inferno? Inferno. Unfortunately, they're hit using Cold Bolt against me, which is... Not great, because that's my spell. However, they are still weak against getting stabbed in the face. Pretty much everything in this game is weak against getting stabbed in the face, as priorly mentioned. Okay, I should actually recast Hour of Power now. Unfortunately, this counts as water, so I don't get to loot bodies. Which is unfortunate. You are... Oh, well, you're enchantable, at least. You're a lowercase tree. You're a lowercase tree. It's because nothing opens here. Hi. Crap. There's the zeroing of MP that I'm afraid of. It's just not fair. Like, hey, look, I can zero all of your magic. By the way, I have unlimited magic, so screw you. Luckily, this party is actually fairly good at not having MP. As long as I don't need to heal. Which, in here, I don't need to heal. No, those are not nice. You're an idiot. And the monolith. I thought this was where I had to face the monolith, but apparently not. Remove curse. Remove curse. Guess I have to go further. All right. You die first. Okay, then these beings die. Then you die because you're in melee range. Then you die because you're about to be in melee range. Tree. Is this the one I have to hit? Yes. More enemies? No, just jumpy. Uh, 
Hi. I've got everything here. Inferno! This is where things can go really bad. a lot of enemies in here and I can have my healer's magic zeroed potentially and that's very dangerous power care concentrate on the things that can hurt more I need to get these enemies out of my way Damn it. All right, both of my mages got their MP zeroed, but there's no other blue boys in here. Blue druids? Blue druids. So now it's just a matter of shooting things. Not so great. You have to hide behind your monolith, don't you? Okay. That's taken care of. Evil altar. Ha ha! Plus five permanent personality to druids and clerics. Sacred pool. It basically takes you back to the beginning. Enchanted leather. Dwarf an axe of enchantment and Cedric Druthers. Continue to work your dark enchantments on the monolith. If we are able to corrupt the monolith fully, we'll weaken Loretta's druids to the point where we can take over. This task is critical to our future plans. Do not fail! Ugh. Feared life. Money. Told you, this was a short dungeon. Mass Distortion is a very nice spell. Thank you. Now I'm going to double check the monolith stuff further back. Oh, I have to walk all the way around, don't I? Welp. We. Flower. The flowers spell nice. I'm gonna just quickly run back over to the monolith area. So they just try to trap you in basically, so you have to deal with stuff and things. I'm pretty sure I can't touch the monolith still, but I'm double checking. Wrong button. Right button. Through here. I think this still curses. Yep, it does. Load. I don't know if that is the correct save. Let's find out. Yes, okay, it was the correct save. How am I doing on magic? I've got 15. Ugh, it's not great, but. Oh, you must have run away before. Now you have not. Okay. We are done with Silver Cove. So I'm just going to return the quest. Heal, because I can use some magic points right now. Yes, I could have theoretically uh, town portaled back, but I didn't quite have enough magic points. Also, where were you? I want to say you're in the loop area. Maybe here. Not there. Here? How are you? Nope. How about here? How are you? Yes. 3,000 gold. And my tablet is now an hour and a half late on giving that notification. Good job, tablet. Let's go ahead in here. Heal up. Save the game. Yeah, we're too late for that. We were too late earlier. I just wanted to walk in here once so you can hear the Monty Python quote. Hopefully that actually was audible. 
Oh, yeah, there's no actual use of anything in there. Okay, um, I think I am done and it's time for me to level. Ugh. Yeah. I still have to do that at midnight on a full moon. I didn't have the quest before though, which is weird. No, oh, yeah, I did. Just the game's glitched. Um, yeah, midnight of a full moon, and we are nowhere near that. So, I have Blackshire and Creekspire. And that hellhole. I wanted to level up first, but I don't want to level up now. We're at 21 minutes. I guess I can show you how I level. Oh, hi. I was just sitting around doing nothing. Whoops. Let's go ahead and kill these folks. Oh yeah, how am I doing on level now? Am I 45? 45. And nearly at 46, too. You don't have any diamonds there, so I can just melee you. You have one diamond, so I need to pay attention. Ball. Um, ice bolt, I guess. I mean, don't get me wrong, ice bolt does a lot of damage, but I'm looking for a way to affect things. Like fireball. I really need an item that increases water level. That's usually the first one I end up getting, oddly enough. How are you doing? Yeah, you're nearly dead. I think an ice bolt or two is probably going to be enough. Yep. And that one fell into the water. Because this game in water... Ugh. Now can I level to 46? No. Didn't think so. I need to complete a quest. And there's no more easy quests for me to go complete. Um, in fact, I can't even train at Training by the Sea entirely. Okay, let me just do one last double check. Make sure there's not anything that I can... I guess I can go rescue Emmanuel from the Temple of the Snake? Ugh. That dungeon is nasty, but it is short. Let's give it a quick shot. We haven't really investigated Blackshire that much. Good reason, to be honest, because this place kind of sucks. So that's a longer dungeon. But it's easy to get to. We're going to go to the shorter... Actually, we could do something else. That's a deck of fate. Let's do something else. Let's go have some fun. Want to go kill a dragon? Yeah, your air elementals. I don't think you actually take damage from fire, do you? No. No, you don't. For some reason, air elementals can actually take arrow damage. I don't know why, but lightning bolts cause weird things to happen for some reason. Right, you're going to... So what we're going to do is actually go loot everything in the 
Dragon Sand section of Blackshire because we're actually just north of Dragon Sand right now. There's a lot of really good loot here, as you can tell. Yes. Oh. Unfortunately, dragons exist. Oh. oh, and I ran out of I really wish I could have... fly at the exact wrong time. Oh well. And what did you? Oh, you ended up breaking I that. Oh, I said pick it up. As good as new. In fact, why don't you? replace that ring of endurance recast fly so meteor shower is basically our primary spell that we're using against these types of monsters the thunder lizards they only don't work on fire lizards, and the fire lizards are the lower level enemies of the lizard type. These are lizard style dragons for reference. There's three different types of dragons in the game, or four different types of dragons. There's lizard dragons, there's worm dragons, as in wire. Um, they are also ground based. You've got drakes, which are weaker dragons. Uh, they fly. And then you have cover dragons, which are the more stereotypical dragon that we've seen before. I might actually be able to just melee them, to be honest. I'm actually doing fairly well in power. Yeah, I can melee them. Uh, let's borrow some hit points. So, these just give money, and I th they do give some type of loot. I don't remember what it was. But nothing super awesome, if I remember right. Latin and lizards. Might be just random item. Yeah, I think it's random item. Oh. Day of protection ran out. Like, I'm being attacked from multiple directions. Why am I not seeing anybody? Oh, wait. Helm. Regen spell points. Okay. Aren't you missing something that regen spell points? No, you have regen spell points. You have regen spell points. You... Do not... You don't. Well, guess what? It's not exactly the type of helm I would prefer. Oh, you do have something that regen spell points. Never mind. And you don't have spell points to regen. Um, where am I being attacked at? Am I being attacked from that horde? I mean, air elementals aren't that bad, except they have a nasty tendency to break everything you have. And you have to be slow in attacking. So when the lightning bolt comes and hits your face, you actually get blinded briefly. And if you try to melee, or try to range attack or melee attack during that, it doesn't work. Alright, I believe ice bolt works just fine on you. That was probably a low roll. Power cure up. Yeah, melee attacks work great on these, but, well, that requires you to melee. Uh, here's, is it, what was the name of this tavern? It was the Oasis, that's what it is. And I naturally, once more, forgot to recast haste. I'll just keep haste off for the time being. Dargons. Oh, I should probably not have haste off while I'm fighting Dargons now that I think about it. 
That sounds like a terrible idea. I really need to get some type of vampiric weapon on my knight. It's the only way she's ever going to have enough hit points. You're dead. Lightning bolts to the face. This is why I recast Day of Protection rather than just casting uh, Wizard Eye. See? Did you see how when the lightning bolt was in my face, I attacked straight forward instead of at the enemy? I don't think that's intentional, to be honest. But that's the way it works. Oh, hey, look, it's nighttime. Night fell. Kern's unhappy because Knight fell on top of him. It's a running joke with our group. Anyway, more Dargons. Oh, these are three fire ones, which means Starburst starts up the juice after all. Mind, telekinesis, that thing. Uh -oh. Ooh, you've got lots of good loot. Ooh, be Jump spell! Oh, help. That's actually good armor. Ooh, be That's actually a really nice ring for him. An unenchanted belt, Ooh, about time. That's not useful, actually. You're lying. Ah, uh, I did not want to get that close to the air elementals. What broke? Yeah, you should probably have that amulet. Um, what was that? No, that was that ring. Plus 17 personality. Your lowest press personality is 7? Yeah. Dunk. There was something else I wanted to distribute, wasn't there? That's right, it was the armor. You have plus 11, that's plus 16, and better armor on top of it. There we go. And what broke this time? That ring. You damn well better repair that ring. That's kind of important. Okay. Power cure. Switch back over to meteor shower because both of these are lightning based, so. Kill you. You broke something anyway. Nothing I can do. As good as new. Aren't you dead? Apparently not. Just die already, thank you. So I can get deal with the real threat, air elementals. Power cure. You're switching to Fireball as your active spell. You're switching to, I don't know what, Ice Bolt, I guess, as your active spell. All taken care of. Edge of the map. 
still have an hour and 28 minutes of haste. So um, all the chests in the sandy portion are in the lower parts, or not lower parts, um, in the parts by the mountains is what I mean to say. So south of the mountain range or east of the mountain range or west of the mountain range. Anyway, they're not usually up here. So what I'm doing is that I'm looking for stuff. More Dargons. Ah, uh, you do have a Thunder Lizard with you, Drat. Can soften up the other two at least. Okay. Let's start up the juice. I actually did damage to the Thunder Lizard. The Thunder Lizard is not immune to lightning. That's good to know. Did I just hit its own spell? I guess a lightning lizard must be the high level one and not the thunder lizard. It's kind of hard to tell when their maximum hit point bars are all of the hit points. Okay, it's immune to cold because that makes sense. Whatever. You broke my brand new ring of charm. No, oops. Don't click in the steam window. That does not help. Why are you not dead? Yeah, it's definitely casting ice bolt on me. That's kind of a crappy ring, actually. I should probably replace that soon. Just die already. Thank you. Don't really feel like dealing with the elementals down south. Yet. There's the obelisk with a very large number of lizards. You are meteor shower based. Because none of you are immune to fire. Oh, I'm being attacked by your elementals as well, okay. Yeah, the Thunder Lizard is the highest level one. It's just that it's ice-based instead of lightning. Because when you think of thunder, you think ice, right? Edge break. I really wish I could My gauntlets help. of mana. Okay. Deal with these goobers. Uh, be nice if I wasn't blinded from the lightning bolts constantly hitting my face. They are now out of range. Why are they even attacking me? All right, speaking of out of range, let's see if this works. Nope. Okay, so that did get fixed. In um, other versions of the game, you could cast things like Meteor Shower at a range and it would work um, at a range beyond what you can see. There's a slight discrepancy in what range you can hit with it. How are you hitting me? Okay, you're a dust devil. Two salvos of arrows is probably enough. Got that one. You're also a dust devil. Okay. Just want to fight the lizard so I can get loot. Unfortunately, I am low on magic. Here. How am I doing a magic for you? You've got 27 magic points. Okay. You 
can't even cast that. Now you have two. Yours. Damn gauntlet again. So dragon's tend to just break random item, basically. All right, the rest of you, I'm just gonna have to melee. I do so much damage right now, stupid cactus. And taken care of. Obelisk. Got it. There's no chests in here? That's sad. I killed all those lizards for nothing then. Uh, 41 minutes. Also, I can totally level up again, can't I? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't surprise me if I'll be able to level up more than once. I've got 26 minutes left of haste, and I don't have enough magic to recast. I don't think. How much does that cost? Five. I do actually have enough. Okay, I'm just going to move around like this. I'm going to go back to just meleeing everything to death. Shared life. Borrow from my knight. Borrowing from my knight works a lot better when I actually have my knight regenerating hit points. Which I don't. I don't believe that pool did anything positive, but I will be finding out shortly. Ugh. Power cure. What broke? Something in inventory. Okay. As good as new. Right, these two goobers. Just gonna have to melee you. My knight I'm a little concerned about with how low her hit points are. Uh, broke yet another random thing in her, his inventory. So one nice thing about having a bunch of loot from dragons in your inventory is that they'll randomly hit your loot instead of you. Yeah, let's just start healing the knight up a little bit more. There we go, taken care of. And I know there was at least one treasure chest here too, yeah. Mind, telekinesis, hit that. Open. That's uh, the highest level sword in the game. Also, a very nice sword. Halfway decent. Yes. Actually good armor. Darn it. I don't have enough inventory space for everything again. Um, that's cell bait. Right. That's actually cell bait at this point. And let's go over here. Figure out what this well... Oh, it's an empty well. No wonder. We have basically explored the entire bottom part of the map. I'm just going to finish up to clear out space. So, assault some dust devils. Die, please. Thank you. Die, please. I said die. Thank you. Die. Thank you. Just make sure I'm not missing anything in the middle. Because I don't remember anymore if there's anything on the, like the other side of this, for an example. More elementals, more dargons. I'll fight you, dargons. Oh, you went on the other side of the map. Okay, I might not fight these dargons. I might just leave. I'm getting low on hit points, and more things are breaking. Wrong character. It's fixed. Yes, please have your hit point regen on. 
power cure. Here. I'm sort of alive. Just die already. Thank you. You're probably back in range now. You're definitely in range now. You fool. I love how red hit points for her is above all of everybody else's hit po maximum hit points. Or not maximum, current hit points. See, if everybody had vampiric weapons, I'd be healing massive amounts of damage right now. It'd be nice. Alright. Why'd you break this time? Okay. Next. I mean, yeah, I know I should be healing right now, but eh. Really, the air elemental is the only thing I'm concerned about. And not even that concerned. Oh, I got too close to that mess. I'm pretty sure there's nothing good over there. I'm just going to run at this point. But I'll fly over the middle to double check, and yeah, no, there's nothing good at all. Okay. Well, we did a thing. Yay for doing a thing. Uh, time. I can heal. I'm going to heal someplace cheaper. Right. Unfortunately, I am now too late to go train. Huh? Spell failed. Why the heck did Town Portal fail? Did I accidentally cast it from her? Oh. Um. So I need to waste some time anyway. So I'm actually coming back here. Uh, can I actually hit the Dark Guild? Yes, I can. I've already hit it, though. But I think I'm going to fill up everybody else's Dark. So he's my Dark Mage. He's got everything that I can get other than Dark Containment. I've got Shrap Metal and Trap Metal. Yeah, everything except for Shrap Metal. I mean, Armageddon's kind of a crappy spell, but at this point I'm just getting everything. Oh, I'm out of inventory space. Hey. that you've got five you've got a different five good job brain um i don't want to go deal with the temple of the snake it's a scary place that's the only place that makes sense for me to go to This is the place of Hour of Power! Okay. This is potentially a very lethal place for me. Because there's a lot of friendlies. And this is something I've always wanted to know. I've never bothered looking. Because usually when I'm here, I have really high saintly reputation. And it's the mod that gives me the number. Yep. It does count. Okay. 
So, um, the way I normally do this dungeon is a way that I can't do this dungeon, which is I usually stone all of the peasants so I can't hit them. Because it is really annoying to deal with the damn peasants. Okay, you're the Enchantress, you're the Gorkin. You're the one I'm afraid of. Yep, and I've already been stoned. Okay, well, luckily... I've got those scrolls. You're almost dead. Why can I not hit Broadside of Barn today? What are you doing, boo? So this may end up being late, even though I was thinking it was end up being an early video. Just because of... Oh yeah, massive potion stash here, I forgot. I could have come here this entire time. Just because I'm going to have to be a little careful in this place. And I remember what the third enemy is here now. Why did I take damage there? That's salvate. Minor amounts of money. Yeah, just look at how low quality the loot is in this place. It's weird. Like, garbage level items. Keep in mind, garbage level items. Just waiting for the ice blast to pass. There we go. And then, gold dragon! This is the first real dragon that we're going to have in this game. It's going to break everything, because basically every time it attacks, it breaks stuff. I can do decent damage, at least. It would be better if I had higher level light magic, but I don't. I'm going to, if that helps. It's also flat out immune to magic attack damage. And fire, I want to say? Let's double check with fire. No, it's just practically immune to fire. Um, I think it is immune to poison, but poison's... No, it's not immune to poison. Okay. That's right. Acid Burst actually works really well on it, too. I know it's immune to magic, though. Looks like it's very heavily resistant to fire. It's not surprising given it has a fire attack. So you're probably better off just attacking. I... sure. Honestly, I could just melee it to death. I need to remember... you have something broken. Yeah, that's kind of important to have repaired. I thought it was less injured... or more injured than that. What broke this time? Maybe I just miss saw. Yeah, I don't think anything actually broke. Um, are you? You don't have more dirt on you, right? No, you do have more dirt on you. Why are you the one injured? Huh. Let's go ahead and shared life. All right. You broke an axe. It's fixed. That's fine. Doing so little damage. It's more that it has gobs of hit points. Oh. You have something broke. It'd be a lot faster if it wasn't breaking things constantly. 
because I don't know what it's breaking since it can break any item. If it was, you know, it only broke rings, I could just hold down attack and then repair everything later. Why are you so obsessed with him? Yes, boo. Oh, you're running away. Nice. Your life. And yes, I would much prefer to not use shared life and use a better spell for healing. As good as new. But it keeps getting unbalanced. All right, we have killed our first cover dragon. <sighs> Maybe I'll call this intro to dragon hunting. Uh, dragon hunting 101. Might metric six, the mandate of dragon hunting 101. I meant to save first because that could be. Right. That's the same that I uh, It's one better. Did I actually save before looting? Yeah, I did. So let me show you why you save before looting. Let me reload. So this one's a broadsword. It's a very nice broadsword. It's an extremely nice broadsword. It's plus 10 to all stats. Um, gold dragons give the highest level loot in the game. That's a relic. That is the tier above artifact. They have really nice powers, but some type of drawback. So Kronos would be plus 100 hit points and minus 50 luck. This is actually one of the items I'm looking for, oddly enough. Maybe I'll just say, keep the save. Let me double check my relic list to make sure that there's not... Um, Polax? Yes, there is a Polax. It's Devil and Dragon Slaying, though. It's not a very good Polax. Um, Kronos and Thor. Sure, I'll take it. We'll keep this because it's silly. Funk. Now her luck is zero. Her luck stat is zero, but plus 100 hit points. So that's nice. Yeah, we'll just keep that. That's fine. Uh, let's power cure up some. Because power cure is actually more efficient right now, if I remember right. Let's see. Power cure costs 30. Cure wounds cost 5. So it's the equivalent of 6 castings. And it's actually not more efficient. But it's faster in real time. Which is why I'm going to keep using it. At least until the squishies are a little bit higher in hit points. That's the only dragon in this place, by the way. There is something else dangerous, though. There's the entrance. This goes over to here, where there are enemies galore. Hello, Gorgon. Zola. We're at almost an hour. I believe now you're paralyzing for the enchantresses instead of stoning. Or do enchantresses also stone and it's just the regular ones that paralyze? Also, damn that snake noise is annoying. I have to unlock that? Oh no, it's an elevator, that's what it was. Just making sure I have entrance to the front. Because it's always handy to have that. And that is... From that. There we go. And I'm going back in from the front because that's the way I want to go. How am I doing on haste? I'm okay for now. Not for too much longer. I will recast haste after going through this hallway. Apparently it's no longer casting that spell. Okay. That's fine. It's trapped. Don't care. I still have yet to actually equip a Poleaxe in this game. Um, that's at least enchantable. The rest of this is garbage and not even worth picking up because it's going to waste inventory space. You are a peasant. Alright, peasant. That shouldn't have 
Oh. Ugh. That hmm noise is scary, by the way. I'm actually wanting them to move a little bit. I want the peasant out of the way, and I want them to try to come up a little bit. Look at how many gorgons there are down there. So it'd be so much easier if it weren't for the damn peasants. Uh, let's shared life to get everybody back to a normal level. Let's also recast haste because I only have seven minutes left. Let's go ahead and power cure up a bit. And then yippee ki -yay. All right, if I look in this direction, I don't need to worry. Actually, I should go after the Gorgon first. Gorgon's plural. This is a terrible idea, by the way. Nobody's hurt yet. By hurt, I don't mean injured. I mean turned to stone or paralyzed. Like that. You are stone to flesh. Got rid of that one. Look a learning. What could I learn? Latin and bolt. I already know it. Again. Enchantress. There is a Gorgon back there, but I'm gonna take out this Enchantress first. Because it's injured. Ring. Yes. Decent ring. As long as I take out the Gorgons, I should be reasonably okay. The Gorgons are the scary things to me. Everything else does damage and can paralyze, if I remember right. But I have Cure Paralysis. Still not paralyzed. Okay. The story of Medusa is so sad. Medusa never did anything bad. If I remember right, Medusa was raped. Anyway, killing all of these goopers. See, I would totally just cast a spell that's an area of effect spell for everything that I see. If, you know, I could. Okay, so they can stone still. Well, this is why I have those scrolls. And also why I have two people who can cast Town Portal, just in case if I need a GTFO. Okay, you're the scary one. Again, the humming noise is scary. I will end up saving that for another video. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's a stone to flash. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you. They, I do have another Gorgon back here. That's why I'm getting stoned. Okay. Yep, I can't reach the Gorgon. Bolt is okay, Ice Bolt is okay, and now you're in melee range. Okay, got that. Got another Book of Learning. Once more, being very careful in this dungeon. It's why this dungeon takes me a while, and why this is an hour and five minutes, even though it's a small dungeon. By the way, there is some secret here. 
For those of you who have played enough Might Magic, you already know what it is. And I will not be doing that tonight. I mean, I guess I could? That's a very long battle, usually. Although, I can use double speed. That will help things. Eat that damn teleporter so much. Ooh, okay. Did not hit the civilian. I'm good. What? Oh, I have to go from the other side. That's what it was. That's the thing that makes you go through the stupid dragon. Although, you don't really need to go through the dragon. You can actually use telekinesis to just open that gate up. Okay. This is empty. This is not. And there's a civilian in here. Again. Gorgon. Again, so much easier if there weren't any freaking civilians. How am I doing on haste? I'm fine. Gorgon. Gorgon dead. Also ring? Enchant fate. Ice bolt. You are uninjured. You are... All of these are uninjured. Okay. All right. Got that. I'm facing this direction, I'm fine with holding things down. Oh, there was another Gorgon in here. Whoops. Should have been paying more attention. Worked out in the end. Okay. This is where I have to be very careful, because if this is an arrow... Okay, I'm fine. And Boo Kitty's telling me I need to go to bed, but I'm going to finish this dungeon first. Or almost finish. I will actually finish at the start of the next episode. So this is how you want to fight Medusas. And it makes sense when you think about it. Um, for classical mythology, or at least D&D mythology style of Medusas, you don't want to look directly at them. So having part of a wall in the way will actually block their stone to flesh, or flesh to stone, because the flesh to stone spell is a ranged spell. Remember what I said about melee versus ranged. Ring is it's actually a nice ring. You had a crappy item. Oh, um, the strength of the ring actually means nothing, by the way. Um, you can have any type of power on any type of ring. It doesn't matter if it's the crappiest ring in the game or the most powerful. The only thing that the power means is whether you can enchant it or not. Crown and a ring. That's enchant bait. I know that there's two more, but I can't reach them from this angle. Ah. Uh, Brumble. I have two more stone to flesh. All I'm saying is, this better be worth it. Gauntlets? Gauntlets. Okay. I know what's beyond there. I'm not going to deal with that right now. Ah, uh, poopy. 
Why don't you come up here? Like go along this hallway. And maybe go like that. Medusas are actually more annoying in some ways than Might Magic 7 because they have ranged attacks, which is much more accurate for Medusas. Okay, I can see you, although that's obscuring enough where I can probably get stoned. Okay, ring? More enchant bait. I'm okay with this. Too close. Oh. Well. Please don't turn me to stone. I don't have very many left. Okay, that worked. There's four more total. I'm going to bank that none of them are Gorgons. Medusas are not actually strong, it's just that they're annoying. And in this dungeon, they hide with uh, freaking civilians. Okay, finally got through that. Hey, how's it going? This is our objective, is Manning, Emmanuel Gravitz. Could you get me out of here? I need to get back to my wife in Blackshire. Okay. Loot. Ooh, be that cool. is very useful. I will store that there for now. Hopefully I won't forget to enchant it. That is a maximum electric resistance gauntlet. That's pretty good, actually. The rest of these are garbage. What is with the eclectic mix of stuff? Like, this is actually a nice bow. Everything else in there is garbage. Actually, the pole arm might not be. Forearm's actually pretty good, okay. You definitely don't have inventory space. You do if I move that. Okay, so we've got that. Loot the last couple of things and we're done, right? Wait, why is this still yellow? Hmm. I'm just going to go looting first. So, I think I'm going to need to heal first and it is too late for a temple. Notice how there appears to be a line over here? There's something here. What could it be? Well, what it could be is me recasting haste. Because this is probably going to hurt me. There's one enemy in there. Just one. <sighs> Seriously, people. Just because I don't let you sleep for weeks on end does not give you an excuse to be tired. So this is going to end up being a long one. So I'm at least going to quickly see if I can go defeat this enemy. I don't think I can. It is Q. Q is the enemy with the most hit points in the game. Also the hardest enemy in the game to kill, not hardest in terms of actual lethality. Also, that chest will kill me. Town portal, Lloyd's Beacon, Stone to Flesh. Hat. I just dropped from the ceiling. Good job, game. So, when it comes to Q, the main shtick is that he's going to eradicate the pure living snot out of you. Just look at how little damage that is percentage wise. That was 47 damage. So, we double speed. And start hitting. He doesn't do much damage, 
But when he does do damage, it's going to suck. We're actually doing a decent job. I am actually going to be abusing quick saves here. Also, I will make a real save. <sighs> this takes a really long time. Luckily, we have the double speed ability. Technically, it's possible for me to get him to a corner. Let's see if I can do that. Oops, that's not a corner. That's also not a corner. What I'm basically trying to avoid his ranged attack. Like that. I'm hoping that this means that I can't get hit by his ranged attack, because that's the only thing that matters. Uh, let's also switch Mordred up so I can heal her as well. As long as this actually works, I am perfectly safe and I can cure I can kill Q pretty easily. So what Q's die attack is not instant death, it is eradication. I only have one character who's capable of reviving from eradication. Um, if he gets eradicated, I have to Lloyd I have to town portal to um, Freehaven. That's my only option. Um, keep in mind, I'm doing this at double speed. So think about how long this takes in real time. It's a good hour long battle usually. Uh, this party is actually fairly well equipped to fight him. I may have been thinking about that when I built the party. Where he becomes dangerous is when he starts running. Which is going to probably be soon is my guess. Or does he not run? He might not be running. He might run at like 1% or something like that. Basically, as long as he... There we go. Got him. Q gives a horn as a reward. This is the Horn of Roz. A horn from the dragon Roz, killed during the night of shooting stars. This horn enables the owner to more accurately sense the wounds of his opponent. Horn of Roz cannot be used that way. So, what that actually does is something I'll have to show you some other time. Have a bunch of wands. Which I have no inventory space for. Let me rearrange things for a moment. grab three of them. It's worth more at least. Um, trying to picture if I can actually, yeah, I can pick up one more as long as I arrange this slightly better. We're going to have a power cure party for a bit. And throw in a shared life so I can make power cure as efficient as possible. That'll have to do. And hit this one. We now have our first stone magic. First and only. So these are more valuable books. And I can 
fit a book somehow, maybe? Yeah, I can fit a book. I don't need this many potion bottles, especially at this point of the game. There, that'll do. And that is it. We have finished Q off. We have finished off the Temple of the Snake. We have finished all sorts of things. Let's GTFO back, back to Blackshire. Find out Manny's house, which I want to say is over here. Hello. How are you nope. That's an empty house. That's not it. One of these, maybe? Hello. You're a dark magic expert. Free light guild membership, your dark guild membership. I need to cast fly so I can move faster. I already hit those houses. That's dark and light. Uh, here, maybe? Master Mace. How are you? Master Sword. Greetings. There we go. Oh, thank you for bringing Emmanuel back to me. Nothing in this world means as much to me as him. Please take this as a reward. I know it's not much, but you deserve it for bringing him back to me. Five hundred gold. I got way more of a reward from looting that place, and that's fine. I gained a lot of experience as well. Uh, I can now level up to 47. This is probably where I'm going to stop on leveling. Ah, uh, haste expired. Right. That was dumb of me. Wait, I actually have the spell now, don't I? I have one minute to cast it. There we go. Done. You open at five. Done. Don't care. I have plenty of money. Okay, we're going to stop here. Um, I'm going to go find whichever place I need to go to uh, finish this. We only have six quests at the moment, may I note? And most of these we shouldn't be doing right now. Um, destroying the Werewolf's Altar and Hourglass of Time and uh, Cure for Slicker Silver Tongue are the three quests that we have remaining that I want to do before we hit the end of the Council Quests. And it is a half moon, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and save. Hope you've enjoyed it. I apologize for the very long video. I decided to throw something in at the end. Boo Kitty's unhappy with me. She wants to be fed. She's underneath the computer desk right now. Um, I probably won't be playing for another couple of days because I have a friend that will be coming over this weekend. But I may end up at least recording the level up. Well, not really recording, but figuring out how I want to level up. Because I think now is a good time to level. Because the next quest I want to do is Garrick's Forge. I'm just leveling up 16 times. It's fine, right? Um, 10,000 more, 8,000, 16,000. Oh, so I'm leveling up 17 times, sorry. Um... Uh, the reason why I'm actually leveling up at this point is, one, to progress time, I need it to be April, and two, because I want to actually have my characters sleep before they just go insane randomly again. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow, and hope you were enjoying this so far. I'm enjoying it, even if this was a really long video. Bye.